YouTube Red True Tide GLP-1 update. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth Countess of Shopping. I've got the Godzilla of GLP-1 medication info for you. Um, when normally we talk here about Manjaro, Zepbound, Wegovi, Semaglutide, Terzepatide, um, I have lost over 93 pounds last 21 months of taking GLP-1 medication. And on today's episode, I wanna talk about some new information I got about Red True Tide. It is in clinical trials. And so this, if it does go through, still could be until 2027 until we see it on the marketplace. But this Godzilla of a GLP-1 monster in a good way versus like Wegovy, semaglutide, or terzepatide. Now I have my other dinosaur and my kid took it back to his playroom. So pretend this dinosaur is bigger than this one. This would be Manjaro, Zepbound, terzepatide. This is retitrutide. And for people like me who have been on Zepbound 15 milligrams, the highest dose for GLP-1 medication, there's nothing higher for me to go. I am at the cap ceiling um, and I definitely need a higher dose in my humble opinion. Now, as always, all the information I share is simply my experience, strength, and hope. I am never a healthcare provider. I always encourage you to always, and I like to use superlatives in this manner, always to talk to your own healthcare provider about your own medical conditions because I'm just some chick on the internet who's had success, um, and I, I like sharing my success, but talk to your healthcare provider. That is the most important thing. Let's go ahead and dive in with some of this information. As always, I will cite my sources down below. Um, we started this conversation in my free encouragement group, which is also linked down below. And additional information is on my own blog, countessofshopping.com, your GLP-1 source for my articles. Um, we're now writing about, uh, we're meaning me, and the count helps edit some of my stuff, um, one to two articles per day. So it's got a lot of cool stuff on there. So let's dive in with this new information. If you are not familiar with even what retitrutide is, go back and watch my video on retitrutide. This was from several months back. Um, and I had talked about what retitrutide is. This was back from May 20th, 2024. I went into details comparing the different pieces of it, but basically what it is, is after the results of retitrutide that they saw in the clinical trial of WHO with retitrutide GLP-1 medication is that there was a rate reduction at the 48 week mark, so 11 months, just shy of a year. After 48 weeks, had a 24.2% reduction in weight. That is, Godzilla. That is huge. Huge. I mean, you can do the math, like take how much you weighed when you started GLP-1 medication and subtract, you know, figure out that's the, that's the uh, weight reduction, the mean reduction of it after 48 weeks. That blows my mind. That's why I want to be on this medication so badly, but it's not even, it's not even, it's still in clinical trials, which is what we're going to talk about today. That is the update. In my free encouragement group, one of our amazing members, her name begins with S, if you're watching, love you, and thank you so much for posting this in our free encouragement group. Um, and I don't wanna give full names just because I wanna make sure I'm honoring people's um, anonymity. So S had posted about clinical trial, the next phase of it, um, that Eli Lilly is recruiting for, and it was a frenzy in my group. We were all like, oh my gosh. It's basically this, I, as like I said, I'm gonna cite all my sources down below. Let me make sure I got the right website. Okay, yes, I do have the right website on here. So this is the right website you can go to to see if you are eligible for being in the Tide study. It sounds rainbows and butterflies, but there's not all rainbows and butterflies. So let's talk about it and why this could be helpful for you. Or for me, I was literally like right there until I read some more information. It's basically the main purpose of the study is to evaluate like the efficacy and safety to make sure read a true type, like getting it to marketplace. It's 113 weeks. If you here, I just referenced that the other amount that I had was 48 weeks. This is 113 weeks. So more than two years long for this study, which is amazing by the way, from Eli Lilly. It's a randomized double blind phase three study to investigate the efficacy and safety um, for weekly comparisons between retitrutide and this, this is where clutch your pearls of people on retitrutide and people on a placebo. So if you're interested in the study <laughs> and one of our awesome group members, I'm gonna call him the person M, M said, and their post back, and I'm gonna quote them, um, they said, it's very important to understand this study is a randomized double-blind study with a placebo, which means participants will receive a placebo, which means they will not be on the drug. That's where I inserted my sound effect um, that they're receiving. It's basically nothing. It's a double-blind. It means that the participants do not know, so you wouldn't know if you're on the placebo. Um, 
and also healthcare providers that are administering the medication will not know who's getting the actual drug, so the people giving it, they don't know either. Dun, 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 the plot thickens. Um, so the people giving it don't know, and the trial study is over two years long. It's very honorable, respectful, and altruistic to participate in medical research, and I applaud those who do. Just be prepared that you possibly could receive the placebo. And so, M, thank you for writing that comment, too, as this is exciting. I'm going to talk about the study because I think it's interesting for us as GLP-1 medication people, and particularly for people like me who are on the highest dose. Y'all, I am clawing, scraping. I am trying so hard because I still have 30 plus, if I'm brutally honest with myself. I'm on a 100-pound weight loss journey. I've lost 93 pounds, which is amazing, and I have to remind myself of that when I get very frustrated with myself. This is amazing. To go from morbidly obese to simply, air quote, overweight is amazing. I'm riding roller coasters and riding horses and doing walking six miles and doing all these cool things that I've never done in decades. Um, so I got to remind myself of that. But I am stuck, and I would my body needs more and it, there's not that availability with that. So this is why I'm so nerding out over Retitrutide. And I know many of you are in the same boat as I am. If you're just starting GLP-1 medication, you're in for a fun wild ride. As always, there's severe side effects, which is what this study is also, that's not what I wanted to show. That's also what this study is talking about too. Are you going to poop your pants and have to wear a diaper? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. You guys don't like when I make jokes about poop. Sorry, I have a nine-year-old boy. That's like all we talk. That's all they talk about in my household. Um, just joking. So it has in here. You could get Reddit if you're interested. And the states that are that are in this study, there's 166 locations. Let me move down on that. I found this also very fascinating because I live in rural Virginia. I'm like, hmm. Now. Part of this part of where, like I said, it's rainbows and butterflies until you get to the part that's not rainbows and butterflies. Um, hold on, let me pull this up so you guys can see. There's a bunch of states. So there's the list within the, the, the thing like Arizona, California, um, Virginia wasn't on there. And then there was even, for my international folks, hold on, let me look. Um, Mexico was on here, which is fabulous. Poland, um, let me keep going, because I know we have a lot of international folks watching too. So Poland, Puerto Rico, and we have one of our fabulous Puerto Rican viewers who's a longtime viewer. Uh, Slovakia is one. So like there's these international, I'm not gonna say all of them, Spain, um, I'm not gonna say all of them, but I, it was fascinating to me. Like super, let me get this off my face. Um, it wasn't just the US, so for, share this video. If you've got people who live in these states, I mean, that is fantastic, except for the fact if you got the placebo. <laughs> now, the other part of this that is also not rainbows and butterflies for Red or True Tide, I gotta feel like I gotta pull up my Godzilla, is the results. I mean, just in 48 weeks, 24.2% weight loss, weight reduction. That's incredible. Like, that is absolutely incredible with that. It's for two years. You cannot take any other. So here's what some of the other parts of the criteria were. And one of our viewers had actually called in because they were going to do it. And there's more than the eligible criteria too. Basically, you can't be on um, like exclusion. If, if you have prior or planned surgical treatment of obesity, you can't have a body weight, um, body weight greater than 11 pounds, like a uh, change in your body weight. So you can't lose 11 pounds or more within 90 days prior to the screening. Can't have type one diabetes. Um, you can't have that thyroid cancer. It's the thyroid carcinoma, MTC, that thyroid cancer. That's the genetic family one that we always see on the black box warnings about thyroid cancer. It's that one, it's a family one. Um, or multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type two, men hyphen two if you've had pancreatitis um, and have taken, this is the big one, this is the kick in the nut is have taken weight loss drugs, including over-the-counter medications within 90 days prior to screening. So if you've been on tercepatide, semaglutide, um, uh, Zepbound, or Vigovi, it doesn't say in there, if you, well, if you're type two diabetic, you, I don't, it's a good question about type two diabetics. Um, that is not in the uneligible one, but it is talking about like heart condition. So you can see all the, I'm not gonna read all those off, but you can see in there that that is interesting. You do have to have a BMI over um, 35 and you have to have established um, a cardiovascular disease of at least one of the following um, and at least 
have a history of at least one self-reported unsuccessful dietary effort to reduce body weight. I was on Weight Watchers for 20 years. <laughs> I should have a wing at Weight Watchers. I still love Weight Watchers. I still, I still, I really like, actually, I, I still really like them. I've switched off Weight Watchers, though, but many of you guys asked me. I've switched off. I was paying for their monthly subscription. I switched. I switched. I'm doing the free. I'm doing free. <laughs> And I like it, quite frankly. I actually now, if you, if, I'll tell you at the end of the video about what I'm doing. It's fascinating to me. I've learned so much. I'll show that at the very end. And if I forget, remind me in the comments and I'll make sure I do share. So with Red or True Tide on there, this is a two-year study. I'm filming this as a, because I've got to be historically accurate. And when I look back on this in three years, I'm gonna, it's going to tickle me. Hello, beautiful you in three years. Oh, wait, this is September 20th, 2024, the day that I'm filming this. This will take, so they have, in terms of starting it, they posted this and some people in my group were like, oh my gosh, it's already, it's already happened. It hadn't already happened. They're actively recruiting right now. Um, they want 1,800 people to be in the study. They meaning Eli Lilly. It's an Eli Lilly. It's, that is the they. Um, and Eli Lilly, the trial dates were May 29th through 2023 to February 2026. You hear me saying 2027, if all goes well to get approval, because it's going to take, even if with rapid FDA approval, they, that's what I'm saying. We got some time, boo, before this even comes out, which is why here at the Countess of Shopping community, we are <laughs> using this as a tool and taking the empowerment back for ourselves to learn. <laughs> and I'll, let me use my I statements. I am learning skill set for changing physical activity and food, changing my food and relationship with food and just food in general. Because there's a lot, being morbidly obese, there's a lot with food. I don't know about you guys, I don't know if you're like me, but having like binge history eating and just a very unhealthy relationship with food now to have a somewhat healthy relationship with food, I've worked so hard on that. So the study is 113 weeks. It will include 30 visits going to those particular places. Um, the particular locations um, on there. So you have, have, so I could not do this because I haven't, have, you need to have had a heart attack, stroke, or peripheral arterial disease. I told y'all I am not a medical provider, so forgive me for butchering that. Have excess weight and a history of one self-reported um, unsuccessful dietary effort. Um, and so it tells you in here about like the trial stuff, which is fascinating. But next steps, one of our viewers took the next steps in our free encouragement group and then reported back to the group. So thank you for that person as well. I wanna make sure I'm giving credit where credit is due. Um, it was the view, uh, H, <laughs> this person's first letter of their name. Um, they said that you had their, their partner called and said that they wanna do an endoscopy before starting. So a little old me looked up, well, what is an endoscopy? An endoscopy, endos, endoscopy as a procedure in which instrument is introduced into the body to give a view of its internal parts. So um, the upper gastrointestinal endoscopy reveals gastritis. So just FYI. So, but <laughs> it's, it's a gamble if you get the, the placebo. It's totally a gamble. Or behind door number two, potentially you could be on Reddit True Tide They've been giving you red a true time for two years. Like that to me, this is where I'm like, hmm, but I don't want to be off my GLP-1 medication for two years. You got to be off for 90 days prior to and then during the study. Um, and you can't lose weight 90, 11 pounds of weight loss, which I'm not losing 11 pounds in 90 days, by the way. Y'all, I'm lucky if I lose a half of a pound in a week. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm doing everything possible to quit. My body's like, ah, we've stopped losing weight, um, which happens to many people too, by the way. I've talked about this now, and this will be my fourth video talking about it. If you haven't seen this video, go back and watch it and binge watch the rest of them. Click that like and subscribe button at the 60 week mark, approximately. Studies are showing people have a appetite. Uh, the appetite depression is not as much. In addition, that food chatter and food noise comes back, not as much as it was before. And it doesn't mean that the medication's not working because it is, it just means that it's lessened. Um, and many of you guys have said to me, oh, you, guys, you should take a break on GLP-1 medication. For me, that seems incredibly dangerous. I, I, for me, you do you, you talk to your own healthcare provider. For me, getting off or even spacing out is not an option. Like I'm just not there yet. I don't know what it's gonna take for me to get there. I've also, tried, many of you guys have also asked, can I do something else with GLP-1 medication? My healthcare provider does not authorize that. 
I'm doing research on it though to see if there's other options with that and I haven't found my healthcare providers like no I'm not authorizing that for you so that's where we're, many you guys have had great questions which I appreciate because I, appre I appreciate you guys so much literally I like in my household, you know how much I talk about the Countess of Shopping community. I talk about you guys so much. I love you guys so much. So let's go back over to the data. Let's go back to the science part. You guys don't want to hear about the, how much, well, maybe you do want to hear about how much I appreciate you guys. It's a lot. So in here, th I mean, that's base. that is amazing news. So here's what they're looking for. These are the outcomes in which Eli Lilly is going to be testing for these. Um, percentage change of baseline and body weight. Like, right? Like, that's the most obvious. That's like the biggest. That's the, that's the primary outcome measures. Secondary outcome measures is change in baseline and BMI, change in baseline and waist circumference. So we're going to a percentage change from baseline and total cholesterol, baseline and triglycerides, change in baseline in um, SBP, your, again, uh, forgive me for mispronouncing, cytolic blood pressure, change in baseline in dialastic, it's DP, DBP blood pressure, um, your A1C, your fasting insulin, um, your physical function domain score, I don't know what that is, and then your PK and your concentration time cure, a which is AUC, is presented in a single average measure of AUC across the study duration. And so those are during week 80, they're gonna be testing those at week 80, baseline, and then um, testing again at the time frame is at the week 80. And again, it's 113 weeks total. So was that how cool is that so um it's still going on and like that sounds amazing to me and it's with eli lily you guys know eli lily i think you're the cat's meow you made me kind of angry though how you did the bile thing and with the with the price reduction which wasn't a price reduction it was changing of the savings card but i get it i still love you and hopefully you guys still love me <laughs> not really <laughs> probably like no okay so let's keep going Let's keep going with Red A True Tide. I want, because it's so far away, 2027 in my brain, future Elizabeth watching this back is going to be like, that wasn't that long. You actually look younger now in 2027 than you do in 2024. Where I want to take the power back is I have way more control, and you do too, than you think in this situation of our own health, of what am I doing today, not three years from now, but today to move me closer to my healthcare goals. So a couple of questions to run through that I did for myself before this video. Have I worked out today or done some sort of intentional physical movement, specifically with weight training, specifically on the weight training train? I love to walk. I love it. It's amazing. Walking is very beneficial. But weight training is the nuts and bolts. Have I weight trained today? <clears throat> Survey says no. <laughs> so I need to get on that today. Um, and I usually do, but I just, well, usually I, if I walk, it's before I film. If I weight train, it's after I film. <laughs> if I get too tired, I get tired afterwards. Um, so I have not done that. So weight training, to take my power back. Two, tracking my, for me, tracking my calories is recently what I've been doing. I told you guys how I had a Weight Watchers membership. I canceled that. I ended up doing my fitness pal. I've actually stopped doing that recently. And it sounds crazy, but it's worked so well for me is I text myself my calories and my protein because I have a direct correlation for my body at nighttime when I am like ravenously hungry, which when I get that way at night, I will night snack. And that's not good for me because I usually can't control myself even with GLP-1 medication. I will overeat and it will stunt my weight loss. And it's embarrassing and I don't like doing that. I don't feel good about it. I feel guilt, shame, and condemnation and that's not, that is not at all what I subscribe to. So therefore, that's why I'm tracking my protein also is it helps me stay really, really full and it's also helping with that muscle mass loss too because I'm weight training with it. So texting myself the calories, can I tell you how helpful that's been for me? Because literally I have to Google what the item is and the serving size and then how many calories that is. Do you know what that's taught me? how much calories something is within a serving size. And having, for me, having such a distorted food relationship, it has been so beneficial to be like, oh, that's what like taco meat looks like for like a four ounce serving. Wow, I didn't know that. Or a piece of chicken breast or a tortilla or um, vegetables or fruit. Like, I just didn't know. Yesterday I looked up and I was like, if I'm remembering correctly, but strawberries for a cup of them was only 47 calories. 
I said, I've looked this up about 500 times and I still am like, oh, you, like that is so helpful for me to continuously keep Googling my food choices because it's teaching me what I need for my body size, right? It's been very helpful. Yesterday, guess who was on point with her calories and protein? Whee! I get a gold star. I want to make that muscular. This side, no, my right side's more muscular. Do you always have that aware one, your like writing hand is more muscular than this arm? These bat wings are gonna go away. Literally in the next three years when I look back, I'm gonna be like, those bat wings are gone. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, this guy, yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be my arms. So taking my, all jokes aside, taking my power back with food choices, taking my power back with working out in some capacity. Third part, third is the mindset piece is the mindset piece. People scoff, scoff and laugh that I do daily YouTube videos. I have a daily show. No, I take that seriously. I'm gonna track how many days it's been of, of me doing a daily show. Like, I do that. You know why I do that? Like, literally get into my little brain here. My little brain is because of the mindset component. I know when I listen to my favorite YouTubers on a daily basis, I am way more productive, my output's better, and that's something I can control. I can't control the results, but I can control the output and the activity in which I'm doing. And so retraining my brain to be focused in the zone, typically for me, is when I listen to my own YouTubers that I like, is retraining my brain for, for habits and things that I, I, I want to be doing and new lifestyle changes. It takes 21 days to make a habit, but even still with, it's I've been on this medication 21 months, not 21 days, it's been 21 months. And I'm still on a daily basis learning a tremendous amount of new habits associated with food, working out in general, just life in general as a, being a healthy person. Um, all that to say, the third component of this that I do have control over is my mindset. And what am I putting into my brain? What am I doing on a daily basis? Which is why I encourage you to click that like button because it helps to make the video go out to other people and subscribe. And if you've got a bestie who's on GLP-1 medication or thinking about GLP-1 medication, share this video with them. I was with somebody in my real life. <laughs> I love her to pieces. She's in my real life and I, uh, I won't say how I know her, but we got in a long conversation yesterday or two days ago talking about YouTube and she's like I watch your videos every day so that was you that we had the conversation face to face in real life and I commented on your how much I like your boots she had the cutest boots on and the cutest Dolly Parton necklace on um now you know who it is um and she was like I watch you every day and I wanted to say you are so smart not because you're watching me but that's very sweet but more importantly of making that habit to focus in on health and for me, this channel, it's about a weight loss journey and sharing my experience, strength, and hope. So on the, if you're on the weight loss journey as well. Um, that to me is super important. And that's what I do. And that's what works really, really well for me. Because if I'm not on a daily basis focusing on this, it just fritters. I've done on the GLP-1 medication where I'm not super paying attention and I don't get the results I want. When I'm on a consistent daily basis, I get to do things like ride roller coasters, go horseback riding. I couldn't even do that last um, this this fall. Last fall, I couldn't even do that. I mean, I could have. I think uh, uh, I I'm at a different point than I was even last fall a year ago. So all of that to say, we have way more power than we think we do. Don't give away your power on this. And what are you doing today on a daily basis to move you closer to your goal? Number two, your emoji of the day, because we do emojis of the day. It tells me that you've made it this far in the video. If you made it this far in the video, I want to get to know you better because I truly do care. Also, I will pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I'll uplift you in positive thought is dinosaur. A dinosaur is our emoji. And your emojis crack me up. I was dying the other day. I literally, it makes me smile so much to see people's emoji choices because it makes it, so I, I love you guys for that too, by the way. It cracks me up when people are like, I can't find, someone was like, I can't find the mushroom. <laughs> I laugh so hard. Um, anyways. Great news, we're gonna continue this conversation also over in my free encouragement group. I will link, as always, you gotta, you, so people are like, how do I get to your description? YouTube has been very smart, but also it's frustrating. They've changed where the description is. You have to click the hyperlink more, M-O-R-E dot dot dot, twice, because they have a long list of all of my free stuff. My articles, if you want my Amazon shopping list, some of you are like, let me have the free thing, not the free thing, but your list of all the best things for side effects. My links for the discounts for things like the Bioptimizers Magnesium is the best on the market with seven types. Use the discount code QUEEN. My link to get eight free sticks of Element Electrolytes. 
Um, a lot of people copy what I say, which I guess is the most flattering thing, I guess, is a lot of people are on. But I bought, 21 months ago, I bought these and they made such a big difference for me. And I negotiated getting us eight free sticks with any purchase. I negotiated the deal. Like I negotiate all these sales for you. I do not buy supplements on Amazon. I buy everything on Amazon except for that. You can get them directly from the vendors. And I have found um, there's a myriad of reasons I'm not going to go into all of them. I talked about it in my free encouragement group. I don't want to talk about it here. And then my free daily vitamins. I love these as well. The gem bites discount code with those two 50% off your first month subscription using the discount code queen. Um, those are linked down below. Now, many of you guys asked about my protein. I highly recommend it. if you have not done by optimizers protein breakthrough is chocolate. I love their chocolate, it's the best. And you can use that discount code QUEEN for any of their stuff. But if I don't always want chocolate, protein shakes, Queen Simple Eats, y'all. It has been a game changer for my profies, my protein coffees. They have a variety pack. If you're like, I don't wanna buy a bunch of their stuff to start with, get the variety pack, test it out and see what you like. Um, these are awesome. And that's how I make my profies, either with the Bioptimizer's Protein Breakthrough or with the Clean Simple Eats. Um, and they have, the protein on it is, the reason why I talk about protein shakes and then I'll, I'll be quiet on this topic is clearly I'm fired up. The count made me like three cups of coffee. I'm like fired out of the cannon. By the way, if it's too fast for you in which I speak, click change, you can make it half speed. Change the, the settings. Did you know you can do that here on YouTube? You can make it half speed. If you don't wanna listen to me talk this fast, make me slower. It drives me nuts when people are like, you talk too fast. I'm like, mm, I try, I get really excited and I'm not gonna try, like I, I try, but you can change the settings. That's why YouTube did that. Anyways, these are great because they have multiple flavors in there. It's so good, it's so good. And I mix that by the way with half water, half Fairlife skim milk because the Fairlife skim milk gives me um, more protein. That's how I mix it. And sometimes I do it with ice, but usually I mix it with my profi, my um, that with, uh, I call it profi protein coffee, but it's really decaf espresso. So, or I, I'm working on decaf cold brew. And the cold brew I'm liking so far is Cooper's cast iron coffee. Their stuff is really good. Okay, I've rambled on. Links are down below. I love you guys so super much. Share this video with a bestie. Make sure you click like if you've made it this far. It really does play uh, very much into the YouTube algorithm and it matters for other people to see the video um, too. Love you guys. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye friends.